and she's less than a month away from her due date. And I have no idea how many kids she's having. How many do you think are in there? I think it's more than one, but I don't know how many. Hey Daisy, <clears throat> you know it's your due date today, right? You know that, right? Why don't I see any babies? So, it's Friday, November the 16th. Daisy is due any moment with her kids. I think it's multiple kids. Um, this is the first time that a goat I own has given birth. And I've been watching her like a hawk for the past few days. The gestation period is, for, for her breed, Nigerian dwarf, is about 145 to 150 days. So based on um, when we think she was bred, she was bred right before I bought her, um, she, the window is right now. Um, we're following like right, right in the middle of the window for her due date. The latest that I'd like to see being Sunday, which would be the 150 day mark. So I got a call from my mom this morning. Um, I just finished classes this morning. Just got out of calc class. And between my classes, my mom called me to let me know that Daisy um, was standing apart from the herd, which she started to do a few days ago, and I put her up in the birthing stall. But she was just showing no other signs of going into labor, and she really wanted to be out, so I let her back out again with the other goats. Um, but mom said she was really slow and lethargic and just did not want to be around the other goats, so I said, yeah, go ahead and put her up. So, we'll see. I don't want to get my hopes up too much because I thought she was going into labor before and she hasn't. But I'm hoping that she's getting close. No babies yet, huh? She did it. She did it. Daisy. She did it. As you can hear in the background, she did it. She had two adorable little boys. Their names are Will and Gimli. Um, I think Gimli is older. He looked like he'd been dried off more. And she's doing an absolutely amazing job. I was hoping for a girl um, just because there's more potential there as far as actually keeping them and doing something with them. Of course, right now, first instinct is I'll probably neuter them and keep them. Um, because, you know, I'm no pro at this. I'm not um, working in a situation where I need to get rid of all the goats except for the ones that are productive in some way. This is just something fun for me right now, and I was only considering um, building it into something more productive later on. Um, and the other good news is she's now, of course, in milk, and as my 
break from school approaches, I will have the chance to maybe try milking her um, once these babies have had some time with her. It's an incredible feeling to come down here and see these tiny little um, healthy, happy baby goats. They're so small compared to what I'm using, used to seeing. Um, my granddaddy has had four goats for a number of years and their babies obviously were, were significantly larger. Um, so it's like these are just super duper tiny and that makes them twice as cute and they've got really good coloring too. I'm excited about um, their coloring. And I wasn't here for the birth. Um, I checked on her around noon when I got home from school and then I got busy up at the house and I came back down to check on her at 3 o'clock and as soon as I walked into the barn there they were. She'd already had both of them and was cleaning them up and they were already starting to stand up. I mean she just nailed it. She is a total pro um, and she's had baby babies before so she knows what she's doing and it's a big relief because I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> so I'm glad she does. There they are. All Very safe and sound. Point. Hard to see them on the camera, but... So I went down to check on Will and Gimli this morning, and they are doing great. Um, I spent a significant amount of time with them last night trying to make sure that they were nursing, especially Will. Um, he was not doing a good job finding the udder and that sort of thing and I was worried that he wasn't getting getting enough to eat. And um, so, it's my brother's dog in the background. <laughs> he thinks I'm coming to see him. Um, so, I spent a lot of time with him last night. Just I was, uh, got a few squirts of milk out of Daisy's udder to make sure that the plug had been passed and all that stuff. And um, trying to actually force Will to, to drink a little milk. Um, and he didn't really do much last night, but I saw both of them latch on and really get a good drink this morning. So, and, and they were obviously healthy. They were both um, walking around and jumping around and, and sparring with each other, and it was perfect. So, um, they're doing a great job. Mm -hmm.